Snuggle up with your favorite snack, because today we're talking about food that makes us feel warm and cozy. Find out why these brownies are the ultimate chocolate indulgence. That and more comfort cuisine coming up just ahead on Unwrapped. Everybody. Welcome to Unwrapped. I'm Mark Summers, and today we are getting comfy with our favorite comfort foods. For this next comfort food, the name says it all. It's fairy tale brownies, and they're just as comforting as mom's homemade. For chewy chocolate brownie lovers, the Fairy Tale Brownie Company is a dream come true. They're not too cakey, they're not too candy like, they're just, just right. They're always fresh and tasty and just melt in your mouth. Believe it or not, the tale of the fairy tale brownies began in 1971. Fairy tale brownies started really in kindergarten when Eileen and I first met each other. And in 1992, we were kind of tired of our corporate jobs and decided to quit and start fairy tale brownies. We brainstormed different ideas and settled on my mom's family brownie recipe. My brownies were delicious, but these are extraordinary. Call her the fairy godmother of fairy tale brownies. Mom's brownie recipe has grown into 13 different flavors, including mint chocolate chip, raspberry swirl, and cream cheese. The magic happens here at their factory in Phoenix, Arizona. And you won't find any fairy dust here. What I think surprises some people is that, you know, we bake and ship almost three million brownies a year and that we're still doing so many things by hand. To make one batch, they melt 22 pounds of butter along with a key ingredient, chocolate. They use 13 pounds of dark chocolate in one batch. We're using imported Calibo 100% dark baking chocolate. We really think it's the best dark chocolate in the world and it makes the best brownie. Next, eggs mixed together with sugar, chocolate, baking soda, and flour. After a two-minute whirl, the batter pours onto a baking sheet. For white chocolate brownies, they sprinkle a layer of white chocolate chips, then blanket it with another layer of batter. They bake at 340 degrees Fahrenheit for 27 minutes. Once the brownies come out of the oven, we put them in the freezer to cool them down. Uh, the next day, we pull them out of the freezer. They get to about 35 degrees and then we'll cut them. The cooler they are, the easier they are to cut. They have two sizes, three inch squares and smaller bars called sprites that make tiny bites. Cut to size, the white chocolate brownies get their signature stripes and their own individual package. In this fairy tale, the factory elves package all the brownies, then they head off to live happily ever after in kitchens across the country. Comfort food experts say most of us just crave the foods we grew up with. Thanks for watching. See us again next time when we unwrap more secrets behind America's favorite foods. Gotta love fries. Mm.